Your presence has been detected and recorded. Thank you. What, uh, what channel are you on? We're Major, uh, Major Liberty. Major Liberty. Major Liberty. Yeah. We came out yeah. to hang out with you and uh, Austin back in November. Yeah. 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 Y
1043 local in Portland. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, there's some freaks and geeks out here at the park. I think that they live here. And uh, I think that they enjoy this uh, community's last drug laws. I'll just put it to you that way. So we may have a little bit of that on the docket for this evening. But I really wanted to talk to some of the people that came out here tonight because if you walk around in downtown Portland in a MAGA hat, you're probably not going to be treated very kindly and you're probably perhaps even going to endure some harassment or maybe even some physical harm or threats. So it's really sad that that's what it's come to in this country. And I was even at a restaurant earlier where the waitress, who is a very nice lady, was saying how, oh yeah, the Patriot Prayer Group comes here and they do their march and uh, you know, they have their right to free speech, but they're not welcome here, not in this community. And it's just like, you know, this is supposedly the tolerant left. You know, they want to coexist and they love everybody. Everybody's welcome. Oh, except if you disagree with them. And it goes down every line that they try to fight you on, whether it's race, whether it's class. If you're a, per a poor person and you're a uh, conservative, they hate you. If you're a black person and you're a conservative, they hate you. So they can't even handle it. And it's really sad that this is where the country's at. And it's honestly the closest that I think society's probably ever been, definitely in our lives, to 1984, the George Orwell dystopian future, which is a boot stomping on the face of humanity forever. And I'll tell you, you see some of these creatures out here in Portland, I mean, whoa, it's like some creepy crawling going on out here. But hey, you know what? I love all people. I'm glad that Portland exists in America. I don't think I would be, obviously I'm not welcome here. I don't think I would want to live here. But you know what? It's good that a place like this You're exists. Welcome to us, You're it's, always welcome to it's, us. It's right? very, it's very open here. It is very liberal. It's very tolerant. You can, you know, you know, be a druggie out in the park all night, and, and everybody loves it. And that's fine. I don't hate Portland. I don't live here. I'm not from here. I don't have any stake here. So if Portland wants to be like this, I think that's great for Portland, and I'm enjoying my time here. But I think it's sad that Portland claims to be a liberal city, but they hate free speech. And if you want to come here with a different opinion than they say the majority of people here have, then you're considered a bigot, a Nazi, and, and you're not welcome. And I think that that's sad. But I want to talk to some people that came out here with me tonight. Let's talk to this man who's uh, wearing a bag hat. Now, actually, you were telling me that you actually got attacked at your home at by home. some Antifa. Yeah, no, at my home. Um, the first time, they had two people. And um, I fought them off pretty good with what I could. Um, but the second time, they probably bought about four or five. And uh, my buddy over here actually moved with me. And uh, you know, he's been on the floor. Uh, this was the second time? Yes. And uh, blood everywhere. So they came after you the first time. There was only two of them. They, they, they were staking you out, and it didn't go well for them. So they came yeah. back with reinforcements. Pretty much, yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it sucks, but I'm going to... I'm gonna standing for what I believe in, I keep standing for this country and fighting for it. So. How did they get your personal address? Probably just dox me, like, you know, everybody else. They, uh, they tend to do that in the movement, so. Where do you think they get that information, though? You know, I mean, do you think that's people working inside of, like, big companies that have our information, or where do you think they get it? I am not 100% sure. Um, I used to hang out with a lot of people uh, that actually knew about docs and all that, and really easy to figure out you know, what companies do is, you know, the tools and everything, but most likely, yeah, it's it from people from the higher ups. I see, I always theorize, because I've had people that have found out where I've lived in the past and my personal information, I always theorize, because we go on the internet and we put our information on so many websites, you know, if you want to purchase something or you sign up for, say, Netflix or something like that, right, they get all your information, so I always figured that you had liberal activists far radical liberals going on there and getting that information, even going through your Twitter DMs, which Project Veritas caught them admitting on tape. But have you have you brought this up to the police that you've been that you've had people come to your house um, and, and try to fight you? Honestly, I've been meaning to, but what's the point? What's they, you don't happen? think they'll do nothing? Um, I think they'll try, but they're not going to really figure out anything. But you know what? I, I should talk to them because um, it'll file a case. Well, you've had two occasions where they've come to your, your your personal address, so I would I would think that you know that's reason for the police to do something. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. Hey, let's get your roommate over here that saw you the second time. Mark Hey, right, come here. So, so you saw him, right? You saw him the second time when the, when they jumped him. Yeah. And what was that like? I opened my door and he was laying on the ground, all bloody, man. And I asked him what happened. He said, said something that ended in a Y that isn't supposed to. Did those transgender frogs uh, throw a fit? Is that what happened? Uh, I, would, I would assume so. I would assume so. Uh, we're in Portland right now, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. A, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of transsexual frogs around here. Yeah. It's pretty sad. So, well, so what was your, hey, so one more time, pull your channel here. Are you going to be, wait, are you going to be live streaming tomorrow too? Yes, we will be there. Major League Liberty will be there tomorrow. Uh, we want to say thank you to InfoWars. You are the inspiration that got us going two years ago during the campaign. Uh, Owen Schroyer right here, big favorite of mine. Um, and Alex, we, we're, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. I'm sick and tired of us being censored. We're starting a rally in Denver, Colorado on September 15th. We're going to protest internet censorship and conservatives. So I just want to say thank you, Owen Schroyer. We're Major League Liberty. You can find us on Facebook and YouTube. So there you go. Now, I will say we're, we're sitting out here again for any new audience. We're uh, out here at the fountain where the <laughs> Patriot prayer march is going to be in tomorrow in Portland, Oregon at noon here local. And there'll be a prayer. We'll sing the national anthem. We'll wave American flags. Communist thugs will cry. And then we're going to march down the street here and through downtown Portland. And if it's anything like last time, if it's anything like last time, there'll be a lot of fireworks and uh, other such immature and dangerous activities. And we'll see if the police have any interest in stopping things. Before they get out of control, let's talk to let's talk to my gentleman yeah. here in the InfoWarsStore.com. Yeah. So, uh, were you here uh, for the last time with the uh, Alice Cooper came out? I was not here for the last time, but we saw what happened the last time. Yeah, what did you think about that? Uh, it was terrible, man, because we know Joey Gibson. We've been big fans of them for a long time. Uh, Liberty Logan from LOL. Also, uh, Joey Gibson, we've been big fans of them for a long time. Liberty Logan from LOL. Also, not going to plug it again. This is my co-host, Major. But, uh, I mean, we saw what was happening. It was just a bunch of people that love freedom, wanted to come out, wanted to celebrate America, wanted to celebrate freedom, wanted to celebrate the liberties that we have. And they were stopped by a bunch of people that hate everything that America stands for. And 
we decided that the next time they did it, we weren't going to miss them. We were going to stand with them, and we are honored to sing with them tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we actually did have a little bit of a run-in with them on our way in here. Um, about 15 miles outside of Portland, we almost got ran off the road. Uh, we were driving. What, do they have your license plate or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they had our license plate, plate. Uh, and we do have some buffer stickers that are pretty triggering for them. A couple info war stickers. They really oh, don't like those. Oh, yeah. oh, and then, oh, uh, of course, the Hillary's uh, prison uh, sticker yeah. is probably the one that hit it in. That one and the Proud Boys sticker, they really don't like those either. But, uh, so they started following us really closely. We noticed that they were right behind us. They were shadowing every move we made. So I got in front of the car I was driving at the time. I just slowed down so they couldn't get behind me again. Pulled up beside me, pulled in front of me, went really slow, so I was like, okay, I can't go 35 miles an hour into 65, so pulled around next to them, they just kept pace with us, and then... Tried were they to masked? Start. They were not masked, no, uh, it was a guy that just kept mouthing to us, go back home, get out of here, you're not welcome here. Do you have a Trump sticker on your car? Yeah, uh, yes we do. Yeah. So I think it was the Trump sticker that really triggered us, right? The they, you're not welcome here. They yeah. told us, you're not welcome here. Yeah, I told us to go home, you're not welcome here. Just but it's so back. tolerant, though. Oh, yeah. Very tolerant. Very so tolerant of so different views. Why wouldn't you be more tolerant? By the way, go home. Yeah, exactly. It's like, be tolerant of everyone's views, but if you have a different view, then get out of here. You're not welcome here in an American city. It's so sad. so here's, a, here's an example. I've, I've talked to a couple people out here, but I've been doing this for two years now. I'll go to a, a Trump event or, or a Patriot event or some such thing, yeah. pro-Second Amendment event, and I can put a microphone in anyone's face here. And they can have a nice conversation with me. They don't, you know, have to insult anybody or, or debate their language or anything like that. But if I try to talk to Antifa, they either won't respond or they'll try to fight me. Right. If I try to talk to the average Trump protester, they just scream racist or some other buzzword that they heard on television. Why do you think that is? It's because it's in lieu of an argument. They don't have an argument. They have nothing to say against any argument that you make. So all they can do is chant, say, no Trump, no KKK, no fascist USA. Oh, that's that. one. That's a classic. That's a classic. That that's their go-to. That's, that's their go-to. That's yeah. their go-to. That's their go-to. That's their go-to. Exactly. And, I mean, that's really all they got. I mean, and like, and like, outside of that, they'll tell you to go away or not talk to you. I've been to rallies myself, and I've been trying to cover just ask people questions and everything like that, you know. Look up our page, and then all the organizers on the rallies will just come up and tell them not to talk to us because we have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have their little cult leaders exactly. that follow you around. And they're, they're brown shirts. Yeah. Have you ever have you ever had this thing? I mean, I'm not like... They literally... I'm not going to do it, but they literally come up to you, and they kind of like... Oh, yeah. You know, like they do a little out. thing. It's like a weird yeah. I sexual crashed the thing. Fire, I believe man. that you coined this. It's like they hate walls, but they'll build a wall around yeah. you. Oh, I've had that happen yeah. to me at least three times. A couple times. I mean, the best that I... They chant yeah. no walls, and right. then they actually wall me off. Exactly. Yep. And it's always those guys with the vests. I don't know who gives them the vests, but I'm sure that they're not actually... <laughs> Walmart? Great. Yeah, exactly. They just go buy vests, and all of a sudden they feel like they have authority, and they're going to wall you off. Because apparently, you ask me questions, or you have a different view, is violence to them. It's hatred to them. Because they can't justify why they do what they do, and they can't justify why they why they feel the way they feel, which is why I personally believe Antifa wears masks, is because deep down they know what they're doing is a terrible thing. They know they're not supposed to be doing it, so why would you show yourself in public doing it? Well, and I feel like maybe they wear masks because a lot of these people may be involved in government, they may work maybe. for a school here, and you know, you don't want to show your face if, if that's the kind of job you have, you know? Well, absolutely. I mean, seen that like time and time again like even classically the uh, bike lock attacker he was a professor i mean uh hey, don't forget about the giraffe neck guy tucker carlson yeah i remember that guy yeah i mean they're always professors or always something like that i mean i like from the uh police officers i've talked to a lot of them are on their side but they're just following orders and i mean at the end of the day i can't really blame them for that we got a job to do too and you know blue lives matter they do what they do and i appreciate them for what they do a lot of them you know do the best they can but i mean it's always professors and always people that do have a job like either in elementary school or even up to college that are doing these things and i think they just don't want to be seen because deep down they know what they're doing is wrong yeah and they don't want people who, who may know them or where they work or send children to where they work to know who they are and what they're doing. Yeah, hey, Absolutely. hey, thanks for talking. Yeah, thank you. Here, come yeah. here, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. So, so, do you think that an Antifa person would come up to you and, and maybe throw a firework at you because of that hat? Yes, yes, they would. And they actually split my father's head open for having this hat down here. Wait, wait, wait. Tell me what happened. My parents and I came down here to support one of our friends at gathering, and he was going away with tiny. And my dad and us came down here, and they had taken literally jumped my parents and they 
took a ass, I believe that's what it was called, or a baton, and they put it over my dad's head and put it down. Were they wearing Trump gear, or what was the deal? They wore Trump hats. So they had the Trump hat on, but and they were walking their car. Asking, but my dad, all he had was American flag on him. Yeah, and my sister had the Trump hat, and they put my sister, they made my sister the same. So, it's really crazy down here, because you can't have an opinion. And then if you do have an opinion that's different from theirs, they will attack you. I can't come down here on my own, and I have. Or in, actually, and this is honest, a detective, have brought, a detective has brought me up because um, he spoke to me and said that I cannot be down here alone, and if I ever needed, I can call them for security. Yep, whenever I'm down here, I can call the cops for security. Is that because of your parents? Yeah. So were the police able to apprehend the people that did that? Yes, they didn't. So they watched my dad get jumped by 10 of these guys, and then they didn't do anything. And then finally, after everything was over, the guy out of nowhere started walking by the one that attacked my father. And we caught, I jumped out of the car and I told the cop, I was like, that's the guy that attacked my dad. And we ran, we all ran after the guy, giving the cops. We actually, he got arrested. And uh, there's many things going on with this case right now. And um, I just think it's really corrupted down here. Well, and you have the Breitbart story that's up to, I think, 570 on the rap sheet of Trump supporters that have been assaulted by, you know, haters and such. Yet you have the New York Times and CNN, you know, posing as the victims, saying, oh, President Trump's rhetoric is going to cause violence against us. Jim Acosta says he puts his life on the line when he goes to a Trump rally. Well, look, you got flicked off and people curse at you. That's not the classiest behavior, but that's nowhere near putting your life on the line. Nobody's throwing flying, firing projectiles at you, Jim. So where do they get off, even with almost 600 cases documented of violence against Trump supporters? Where's the list of documented cases against Hillary supporters or Bernie supporters? I don't know of one. It's true. And the thing is, we're always going to be in the wrong to them. And down here in Portland, it is Ted Willard's <coughs> for most of this that is going on. And we have told him many times to start helping and to start actually enforcing the law. Now, hold on. This is like the third time we've heard Ted Willard today, and I'm not too familiar with that. Who, who is that? Ted Willard is our mayor, and he has said he does not want our kind here in Portland. If you do not want our kind here in Portland, Ted Willard, exempt our taxes, and we won't come around. So, wait, and you're so telling me the, the, from the mayor's mouth he said that the Trump supporters aren't welcome in Portland? Yes, he posts. Yes, he made a post about that. On social media? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't want us down here. And he has made a post. And... Um, there's another guy, he's our senator, uh, Jeff Murphy, I believe that's who it is, and he... Yeah, he's awful. Yeah, he has practically called for war, because he made a post two days ago, right before this event, saying how, all, like, how it's a democracy here, and how we need to get our people together, and start fighting. He... I have it on my phone. I wish I could well, quote I, it. I, I, quote I mean, this is, this is, the, this is the rhetoric coming from the Democrat Party, coming from the left media. And, and they think that Trump is the one upping the rhetoric. When, again, there's no instances they can point to to say that, hey, look, this is what your rhetoric is doing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Jim Acosta. Oh, my gosh. They said that I was a bad guy. Oh, my gosh. They call me fake news. Oh, my gosh. You like my pig tie. Oh, my gosh. And it's like, Jim, you're a clown. People are laughing at you, and he doesn't even get it. But you know what's sad? It's like, I, I'd love to go out tonight, and I'd love to just take everybody out tonight as, as we are. But I feel like if we go somewhere, we either won't be welcome, or, you know, who knows? I mean, I've had instances in, in, in Austin where I bartender, you know, decided to put some eye drops in my drink. You know, how do we know they're not going to try to do something funny to our drinks if we go out tonight, you know? How do we know they're not going to spit in our food if we order a cheeseburger? The thing is, we are not welcome here. And our people will be attacked just even going to any of their restaurants. We're always getting kicked out wherever we go. And you, I mean, you see it every day now. And you see close and how we're getting kicked out because they're political bias towards us. And we need, to, we need to start calling it out more. And when people are getting attacked, it is time to start filing those reports on them. Start making police reports. Because we can't keep this, this cannot keep continuing. And... Conservatives that are the millennials, and you haven't been speaking up, it's time for you guys to start rising because we need you guys the most too as well. Yeah. We got a, we got a couple newcomers here. 
So uh, I'm assuming. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Hey, hey, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Have you taken your? Have you taken the red pill, sir? I haven't seen you since New York. Uh, have you taken the red pill, sir? Sir, I have. I have. This guy. This is a dangerous individual. He's on the red pill right now. This nutraceutical uh, will change your life, Antifa. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> this, I'm gonna red pill you tomorrow. No pun intended. But if you take one of these. Whoa, whoa, hold on. This is breaking news to me. This is breaking news. Are you telling me you're going to bring the real red pill out to the to the thing and you're going to try to literally red pill Antifa? I am literally. I, I literally posted on my page on Facebook. Red pilling Antifa, Citizen Media, you heard it here first on Info Wars. So there it is. Tomorrow, now, Antifa is literally going to be red pilled if they take the red pill. If, now, they're going to have to quit drinking the fluoride, too. Exactly. Or at least take a lot of the iodine. I mean, because this is the really bad halogen, the X2. I did leave that at home. I took him up to sustain. Okay. Now, 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 you, sir, come here, come here, come here. Now, this you my guys, buddy, Doug. So, 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 you guys. Nice to meet you, Doug. So, you guys actually just walked up here. It was just the two of you. You got a Trump hat on. What did you guys experience? Anything on the way? No, on the way. Actually, we uh, stopped and asked the fellas uh, for the address on how to get to the fountain. We saw you on the web and. They gave us pretty good directions. No, no, no <laughs> trouble. No, not one bit. No hate. No hate yet. That's good. That's no hate. We're not here like to hate it. either. We're here to red pill everybody. Yeah. Uh, share the M4s love. Tomorrow might be a different story. You know, bottom line is I wish it wasn't. They better understand that. I mean, good stuff is good for you. Costs good money, and I'm willing to share it with them. Well, you know what? And, and, and now's a perfect it's time. To, now's a perfect time to make that point. Is that. I mean, I really don't want there to be violence tomorrow. I wish, I wish that we could come together with Antifa, and and we'll never, you know, share things, that, ideas, and and what we think. But we should be able to find some common ground. I mean, you think that after all this time of of them just pointing at us and calling us racist Nazis, that they would think beyond that, that they would have like a second thought process. But it, it's like they're just stuck on a loop, and they can't get to the next level. So maybe the real red pill. Maybe the real red pill. My personal is the favorite is Alpha Power. That's not Alpha Power. I thought about the brain force, but I'm like, this is good oh, for your heart and their mind. So I just take some heart and give them something good for their mind. I mean, you never know. Uh, <laughs> never know. It's the red pill. I mean, it's the real red pill. Exactly. I, I buy so much of this stuff, I'm going to start having to, uh, I don't know how to email Alex, but I'm going to have to figure out how to buy this in quantities and bulk prices because I'm literally spending $150 more. Every time I order now to order for other people, and I gotta wait till they get paid to get paid. I think I feel like you need to get like uh, <laughs> like some sort of pill gun, and you can right. like do like you fire the pill at the Antifa, yeah. you know, like a red pill gun. Well, like at least you get one of those things that's good for the week. Like on this day, take this. On that day, take that. You know, you stop the. They need a, they need a schedule. Get a water filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This stuff's poison. Now, I've, we've got people out here, a lot of people wearing InfoWars search and such. Do you, think if, do you think if Jim Acosta said, you know what, I feel like I'm going to walk down to the uh, to the fountain in Portland and do a live broadcast, do you think anybody would show up for Jim Acosta wearing a CNN shirt? It'd be pretty rough. I mean, I'd accept him if you wanted to come over and be civil. You know, but I might have to say CNN sucks. Might have to. CNN sucks. Very All over again. It, it's tough because he is such a jack wagon at every presser. You know, they took CNN off, off the air. Of the he wants to talk about Wait, wait, wait. He's this? in danger. What's they took CNN off the air for the cable network on the peninsula. Oh, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of cable networks are actually yeah. dropping what? CNN. Yeah. It's amazing. So is that where you're from? <laughs> uh, Washington. Yeah. I'm, that's Greater Seattle area. So they dump CNN? Uh, not in Seattle, but on the peninsula. Out of uh, Bremerton, Port Angeles, Port Orchard. Say bye-bye CNN? Yep. <laughs> bye-bye CNN. Wow. <laughs> bye-bye CNN. How Let's about that? Info Wars on there. How yeah. about that? All right. So here's the deal. Right. So, um, so Jake Lloyd and uh, our uh, videographer, editor, cameraman, Drew and Rufio are about to join us here. So uh, we'll get a quick comment from them. Yeah, yeah, walking up right here. We'll get a quick comment from them. But uh, you know, I don't know if I don't know if the camera's caught in, but there's been uh, a few vagrants uh, kind of uh, behind us being strange. All right. Where's uh? There he is. Chris. Chris. So again, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the location where the major report that. That right hook about 60 times. Yeah, it'll be just as good as the next time we march down the street, which, if anything goes like it did last time, 
Uh, that was a good one. That was one of my favorite. I was I'm just saying. Thanks. 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 about five of them. So let's actually, here, here, let's, let's, let's get a word here. here we go. All right. Here we go, Rufio. Right. So, so, Rufio, you're back to, you're back to the last time you were here. It was the Rumble in Portland. You dropped about 10 of them. Are you getting like some pre-fight jitters right now? Uh, definitely. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's kind of like your birthday. You just get a little excited. You don't know if it's going to be a surprise or, you know. But uh, actually, I'm, I'm more excited about uh, seeing how many of our boys are going to show up. It seems, honestly, it seems like there's going to be a lot of people down here. Yeah. I mean, the, fir- oh, the first rally, well, not the first, but like, I think it was June 3rd or July 3rd? June 3rd. June 3rd, yeah. We were heavily outnumbered, and then everybody saw that and showed up, and that was the 30th that everybody loved. And so now everybody saw that, and they're showing up, and so we're really excited now to see how many people show up. And because we don't have a permit, it's going to be kind of, you know, we're winging it, Show up in the waterfront. I'm hoping we can just lay back, have some beers, maybe set up some barbecue, you know. Just That'd be fun. I like beers <laughs> and barbecue. Yeah, just have such Do a huge presence. Do you think Antifa presence. likes beers and barbecue? I don't think they like anything. <laughs> I don't really think that there's anything they like. I think they're just angry about every little thing in the world, so, you know. Victim we'll try. We'll sucks. invite them. Yeah, yeah, think about that. Think about that. We have a beer barbecue cookout, and we're just drinking beers, you know, eating barbecue, listening to music. And, Proud of your boy. Yeah, you know, and if they wanted to show up and have, uh, you know, have a beer or a hot dog or something, we, we'd let them join us. Hell yeah. I invite, I literally, every almost every single time, I invite them out for a beer. Every single time. And they're like, no. I'm like, That's, I've never gotten that response from any human being in my entire life. So, you know, we'll see. But, but, you know, honestly, though, we, we, we joke about this stuff, but we've talked. Like, we, we really want peace. Like, I, I've, I've tried to reach out to people in Antifa. You've tried to reach out to people in Antifa. And, and the saddest part is to me, which is why it's almost becoming such a joke, is that they really think they're fighting Nazis. And I try to tell them, I'm like, dude, I'm a normal guy like you. I may think differently. You may think I'm crazy. I might think you're crazy. But we both bleed red. We were both born here. We both have to endure the same struggles that humans endure. And it's like, no Nazi, no racist. And it's like, man, they can't get over that hurdle. Right. You know, I, I wish I wish we could break, break through to them because we'd really be their biggest supporters. Whatever they have going on in their life, like, we have your back as long as you pledge allegiance to that flag, as long as you want to stand with your people here in America and, you know, stand for what's right, we have your back 100%. We'll flip that light on with the monster that you're chasing in your room and show you that there's nothing there and we can all get along, you know? And, you know, I'm just waiting for the opportunity. I don't know. I don't think it's going to come just because I've been doing this for almost two years. There's been zero progress with them. Um, but, you know, I'm completely open to the opportunity if anybody wants to talk and, you know, make some progress. Yeah, I, I agree with that. And, and that's the way it should be. And it should be that way on all sides. All right, we're, we're going to sign off this broadcast here. Uh, but, but I'll ask you one final question, and, and this is my concern because uh, we've got a pretty good group of people out here. I'd love to go out, you know, for a beverage or two after this, but my fear is, especially in this city, and if we go out and people have a Trump hat on or an American flag shirt on or an Infowars shirt on, that, you know, our beers might uh, get a little bit something extra. You know what I'm saying? Oh, definitely. Yeah, that's not something we're uh, unfamiliar with. Um, usually we just get kicked out of the bar straight away, or they try Oh, just no, just your Usually just no, straight away. I know Milo's dealt with some spit and some stuff like that. So that, you know, keep an eye out for sure. Watch your drink being made. (laughs) Or just make Um, sure you see the bottle opening in front of you. I just, you know, hope you can even get a drink to begin with. Perfect weather. I would say, you know, that's a success. We'll we'll have a good time either way. (laughs) All right. So there you go, folks. So first of all, I want to to thank everybody for coming out. Let's just do a quick uh, quick camera here. Of, uh, everybody that came out today, thank you guys for coming out. Yes, yeah, uh, 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 I can't say why I can't make it, but I have it. Uh, I have a personal. Oh, no, that's fine. Hey, well, Rufio, real quick before you go, man, can I get you to say Liberty Prevails real quick? Say what? Say Liberty Prevails. Liberty Prevails. Uhuru. Uhuru. He's filming. He's So what? He's filming. Hey. Hey, Alex.
Well, we're pretty much totally banned on YouTube, but look for the videos there later. And it's all going to be an info yeah. wars. And hopefully tomorrow is going to be great. Hopefully everybody can maybe turn a new leaf. And who knows, maybe we can have a beer and a bar tonight. Wouldn't that be the greatest yeah. story ever? Okay. But I'm sure you guys will be the case. We'll find out. Thank you. Thank you.